Hi everybody and welcome back to Watch It. We're gonna look at 12 affordable Rolex Cosmograph Daytona alternatives. Why 12? I don't know, that's just the number. For this occasion, I've selected my Swatch Irony Chrono. Now first, let's take a look at the watch. If you're confused why the watch has Cosmograph and Daytona in the name, you're not alone. Cosmograph sounds like a space thing and Daytona is the name of NASCAR's Daytona National Speedway, which hosts race sporting events. So what gives? Cosmograph is a word created by Rolex, which first appeared in the 1950s to describe a watch with a moon phase and calendar function. On the dial, there's a date, month, and seconds wheel in addition to a tachymeter scale to see how fast a car is going. It has a screw down crown for 100 meters of water resistance, a ceramic bezel for better scratch resistance. It has a self-winding movement with a 72 hour power reserve. It's made of durable stainless steel and has a scratch resistant sapphire coating on the crystal. Price wise, it comes in around $30,000 US and we don't have that, so let's get started. We're gonna start with, with the absolute cheapest and work our way up, the Shameless Homage. This is the Parny Homage version of this watch. And it's a steel, both in design and price. I say steel because they stole the design. This is a very shameless offering. And if you can do anything better than this and are willing to spend a bit more, I recommend it. The Parney is a 39 millimeter quartz watch. So at least the sizing is respectable. I personally don't like watches over 40 millimeters. They claim the bezel is ceramic, I believe them, and the crystal has sapphire coating, entirely possible. It doesn't claim any water resistance, which is good, because lying is bad, and I found it listed on AliExpress for 76 US dollars. Be careful though, because there is such thing as a knockoff of a knockoff. It's a good option if you're willing to take a chance and you want it to look identical to the Daytona. If not, let's move on. Number two, the Casio Edifice Chronograph, with a long name actually, is almost 44 millimeters, so it's very big. If you have a small wrist, it's not for you, but it's only $75 US, which is even better than the Parney, and it has 100 meters of water resistance, a leather band, it has a calendar function, and is quartz as well. If the size doesn't bother you, this is a winner. Number three, the Microbrand watch. This is the Blue Panda Chronograph from Undone. It's 40 millimeters in diameter. It has a racing inspired strap. It has a Seiko quartz hybrid movement and a transparent case back. Splash resistance, all for 269 USD. It has a distinctive blue white dial design. For one more dollar, you can get a Dan Henry. This one is titled 1968 racing chronograph watch at 39 millimeters. It has good sizing and a Seiko Japan Caliber VK63. Mecha Quartz Movement, again, a hybrid. It has a battery powering the movement through coils and quartz oscillator, but the chronograph is mechanically actuated and controlled. Push the start stop button and the second hand steps into action and resets just like a mechanical movement would. 50 meters of water resistance and the double dome mineral crystal has anti-reflective treatment on it. It's got a race car on the case back and an easy to remove watch strap. That's $270. Number five, the Gakoda C-01 Gen 2 Racing Chronograph. This is roughly what $400 would get you. It's square and it's round, it's very glossy. At 42 millimeters, it resembles a medium-sized Panerai, so be careful, it's big. It has a Miyota 6S21 Chronograph movement. That's right, another battery, not impressed. We'll move on to number six. The 41 and a half millimeter D1 Milano comes in different dial variations, but both have gorgeous stainless steel bracelets resembling an AP Royal Oak brushed bracelet. Again, a Mecha Quartz movement from Seiko VK63 with flyback. It also has sapphire glass and anti-reflective coating, but you can also get it in rose gold. Number seven. Now we're making our way over to the Seiko reference option at $550 on eBay. Seiko collaborated with Japanese retailer Nano Universe to come out with this edition. In Japan though, it's actually cheaper with a retail price of $270. Powered by Seiko's 8T67 Mecha Quartz movement, the watch comes in at 39.8 millimeters wide. It has a Harlex crystal, so it's a bit plasticky. Number eight, the Steinhardt Ocean One Vintage Chrono. It's $1,060. Yes, Steinhardt borrows heavily from Rolex vintage models. However, we finally got into a more respectable complication, but beware, watchmakers will charge you handsomely for working on a movement like this. 
That's because there are two pieces working together here. The ETA 25 joule movement with hacking seconds on top, and an additional module designed by Dubois de Pars. The ETA has a power reserve of 38 hours. Uh, it beats at 28,800 beats per hour. It has Inca block shock protection. And if you know vintage watches, you'll see a lot of them with Inca block actually written on the dial. It used to be an advertised feature. Layering the Dubois de Paraz movement on top of their own, it allows watch manufacturers to use their own in-house movements. Not that Steinhardt has done this. They're using an ETA movement, but so is Tudor in their Tudor Black Bay or Black Bay 58. So it must be pretty reliable. It has a sapphire glass dome crystal with double anti-reflecting coating on the interior side. It has a screw down crown like the Rolex to keep the water out, which is much better than a non-screw down crown, giving it 100 meters of water resistance. It's 42 millimeters wide. It's on the bigger side. Now up next at number nine is Tag Heuer, a brand synonymous with racing. We're looking at the Formula One chronograph black dial men's watch for $1,300. It's a quartz watch that has 200 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown, a depth rating matching the Rolex, a black bezel made of titanium and coated with carbide for strength. Hopefully tungsten carbide, which is a hundred times stronger than steel in extreme conditions. For what it's worth, the movement is Swiss made and it has a chunky presence on the wrist at 43 millimeter. Here's a Japanese guy wearing the watch. If you're tired of all the quartz options, here comes an automatic finally. The Hamilton Pan Europe silver dial. It has a Swiss made automatic movement with a transparent case back so you can see all the action. The movement is made in house by Hamilton and has a 60 hour power reserve. It almost touches the Rolex's power reserve of 72 hours and it has a chunky 45 millimeter diameter. Number 11 and 12 are tied for most expensive not because they cost the same amount, but because they're both Tudor watches. Tudor is the half price sibling of Rolex. That's probably the wrong way to put it. But anyway, first the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Chronograph. Whoa, that looks good. You can find the Tudor Heritage for around 4,000 USD right now. It has a 70 hour power reserve, an in-house movement Tudor caliber MT5813, and contains 47 joules beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Scratch resistant sapphire crystal, a screw down crown with 200 meters of water resistance, and a very cool full clasp leather strap coming in at a respectable 41 millimeters. Of course, Tudor is famous for its snowflake shaped hour hand, so there's that too. So the last watch, Tudor Prince Oyster Date, reference 79280, selling on eBay in good condition for roughly 6,500. It has a 40 millimeter diameter. 40 hour power reserve and an automatic Valju or ETA 7750 movement because ETA bought Valju. The crystal is sapphire scratch resistant and it has a hundred meters of water resistance with a screw down crown. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And I hope you check out some of my other channels if you're interested in other content. I'll see you around until next time.